Detective Emily Parker arrived at an abandoned warehouse following an anonymous tip. Inside, she found a horrifying scene, a mutilated body surrounded by cryptic symbols carved into the walls. The eerie atmosphere sent shivers down her spine as she realized she had stumbled upon the work of a sadistic serial killer, soon to be known as the Cypher Killer. As the investigation unfolded, Emily discovered a pattern among the victims. They were all renowned cryptographers or codebreakers, experts in deciphering secrets. The cipher killers seemed to be challenging these individuals, leaving behind ciphers and puzzles for the police to unravel. Emily knew that to catch this cunning murderer, she would have to delve into the world of codes and riddles. Emily sought the assistance of Dr. Samuel Blackwood, a brilliant but reclusive cryptography professor known for his unorthodox methods. Together, they analyzed the ciphers left at the crime scenes, struggling to decipher their twisted meanings. As the messages became clearer, they revealed a disturbing glimpse into the cipher killer's mind, a thirst for power and control. With each passing day, the cipher killer grew bolder, taunting Emily and the police force with cryptic messages predicting his next victim. The pressure mounted as Emily realized that not only was she in a race against the clock to save lives, but she was also entangled in a personal vendetta with the killer. The lines between reality and nightmare blurred, pushing her to the edge. The cipher killer, reveling in the attention, escalated the game by targeting Emily directly. He sent her chilling messages, leaving her wondering how close he was to her at any given moment. The psychological torment intensified, threatening to unravel her sanity as she faced her darkest fears. As Emily and Dr. Blackwood unraveled the final cipher, the pieces of the puzzle fell into place, leading them to a shocking revelation. The cipher killer was not just one person, but a cult of cryptographers who had been driven mad by their obsession with power and control. The leaders of the cult were revealed, including a high-ranking government official and a prominent academic. In a climactic showdown, Emily and Dr. Blackwood confronted the leaders of the cipher killer cult. The eerie underground lair became the setting for a nightmarish battle, with the duo fighting for their lives against deranged codebreakers. The line between good and evil blurred as Emily struggled to maintain her sanity amidst the chaos. As the dust settled, Emily uncovered a shocking truth. There were survivors from the cipher killer cult, individuals who had managed to escape the clutches of madness. With their help, she exposed the full extent of the cult's activities and brought justice to the victims. But the scars, both physical and emotional, would forever remind Emily of the horrors she had faced. Emily retired from the police force, haunted by the memories of the cipher killer and the darkness she had witnessed. Though the cult had been dismantled, she couldn't shake the feeling that there were others out there, lurking in the shadows, ready to unleash their twisted obsessions. The enigma of human depravity remained, forever challenging her belief in the inherent goodness of humanity. The cipher killer would forever be etched in the annals of crime history, serving as a chilling reminder that even the most brilliant minds can succumb to the allure of darkness.